Hey, Tim Corpus, composer and sound designer here, and we're back. Happy 2022. We're here to take a look at more Touch OSC. This week, we're going to look at Studio One and Touch OSC. Uh, we're also going to add in some toggles. So thanks to the user, uh, Lucas, who asked about Studio One with Touch OSC. Um, we are using Mark II, but I did see on the PreSonus forums, people had been using uh, the original version and setting that up. There are some issues with OSC, sending messages and receiving messages, uh, because it's not really natively set up in Studio One. Uh, so there's a little bit of trouble with that. But we're really gonna focus on MIDI and setting up sending MIDI signals. And if you're unfamiliar with Studio One, it's a really nice DAW put together by PreSonus. Uh, very easy to use. So if you're looking for like a first DAW to use, uh, I definitely recommend this one. It's, it's pretty nice and pretty simple to use. Now what we're gonna do is work in the editor, build a template, and then take that over to Studio One. So as always, let's start out in the editor. As always, let's make sure that we turn on the bridge and connect. So starting in the editor, we are going to use our editor as the server. And then in our iPad here, let's make sure we select our desktop and we should have a black screen on the iPad, which is also what's on our desktop here. So what we're gonna do, let's start out with a simple button and a simple fader. And then let's also make one more button, make that blue. And let's make a radial and we'll make this uh, yellow or something like that. So this is all pretty simple MIDI mapping. So we're just gonna use uh, program one and we're gonna set one through four for each one of these uh, buttons or faders or whatever. So let's take our button here and let's put this, we're going to remove the OSC message because we don't need that. And let's take this. We're gonna go to constant as always and let's call this one. Let's go to our fader. And again, we're gonna do the same thing for all of these. This is gonna be number two. Don't forget to get rid of that OSC message. So this is a super simple template uh, with just some MIDI signals coming from these radials, uh, encoders, whatever you set up in your template and make sure that you are seeing whatever you built in the editor also on your iPad. If you're not seeing that, then they're not connected yet and you can't go further than this. But once you got it all set up, now let's open up PreSonus Studio One and we'll get it all set up. So this is PreSonus Studio One, nice little DAW here. And we do have our mixer open, which can be controlled by this little button down here. Let's go ahead and add a track. Doesn't really matter what we're calling it. This is just an example. And cool, we have our track. Let's head over to our options. And here, we're gonna look at external devices and we are going to add one. And you guessed it, we're going to set up a new control surface. Now, you can play around with Mackie HUI that is set up in Studio One. So feel free to use the template in Touch OSC and work with what you know about Mackie HUI. You can make that setup and maybe make a couple other things work for your template, depending on whatever it is that you're doing. But we're going to use the new control surface. So we can leave the manufacturer blank because we don't really care about that. Let's call this Touch OSC. And our receive is gonna be from the bridge. And we are also going to send to the bridge. Okay, all right, we got that set up. Cool, very simple. Now here in our mix panel, we're going to open up our external devices. And you can see that's showing our Touch OSC. Let's right click on this and select edit. And you can see this option for MIDI Learn. So what we're gonna do is select MIDI Learn, and now we touch 
each button or fader and I recommend doing this in order of your MIDI signals. So one through four for us. So first we're gonna touch that red button in the top left corner. We touch that and that's come up. We're gonna right click on this because what we've added is a button. So that's a press release button. And now let's move the fader. Cool. And let's right click that and turn that into a fader. And now let's hit that other button, that blue button. But what we wanted was a toggle. So we're gonna right click this and go to button on off. But in our touch OSC template, all we have is a button. So let's go back to the editor and change that from a button to a toggle. So we can select our blue button here and let's scroll down and we don't want a momentary. What we're gonna change this is toggle press because what I want to happen is we're gonna push the button and something's gonna activate and when we push the button again, it's gonna turn off. So if you wanna try that, once you have this toggle press, hopefully on your iPad, you should be able to push it, it lights up, push it again, it turns off. So back in Studio One, let's add our radial. So we have MIDI Learn on and let's touch our radial and we can see that has moved, terrific. So now all four of these are set from Touch OSC and our iPad to Studio One. And now let's figure out how to use them. So now it's really simple to pair our buttons from Touch OSC with what we're doing in the DAW. So let's right click on this and it says assigned to control two. First thing you wanna do is let's make sure we move this around and you can see that has been moved up here. And then on our iPad, you wanna move that fader. You can see it moving here and moving up here. And now right click on your fader and assign to control volume two. Now the reason we wanted to move everything first is because if you have a different button selected as the last pressed, it will have that as what to assign. So you wanna make sure you have the most recent active item, object, radial, fader, whatever, uh, selected and moved before you pair it. All right, so now the fader should be set. So if we move that up and down on touch OSC, we see that moving around, perfect. Now let's add our, uh, let's go into the panning. Let's right click on the panning. And like I said, this is showing uh, control two, which we've already done. So we don't wanna select that. Let's move this radial. You can see it says control four up here, right click on this and assign pan to control four. And then as we can see, that's all set up. Perfect. And now let's say you wanna use this toggle as a solo. So let's touch that and make sure that has been called up here. And we're gonna right click on this solo and assign solo to control three, which is what we selected here. And now when you click that toggle on, you see that blue light on touch OSC and you also see that your track has been soloed. And then same thing, you can turn it off. So like I said, this is all very simple. Uh, Studio One makes it really easy to set up any MIDI device, which is really fantastic. I wish there was more opportunity to use OSC with it right now, but that's just not the case yet. Uh, but let's look at one more thing that you can do in sending your MIDI signals. Because here in Studio One, if you right click on the first button, this was our uh, button in the top corner, Select assign command. And here it's almost like the action list in Reaper and you can search for certain commands. So what I wanna set up is a tempo tap. So tap, we're gonna type that in, tap tempo, okay. So now what's gonna happen is when we hit this red button, you see how we can change the tempo. Let's maybe uh, see how good my tempo is. I want something around like 160. Uh, I'm a little bit short, 141, but you get what I'm saying. So you can hit that button slow, and now it readjusts to that. If you're doing a lot of recording, you know, you're just sitting here with your guitar recording things in, it can be really helpful to have that tempo tap for if you're starting a new song. Perhaps you need a OSC template for just, you know, writing out a draft of a song, so you want that tap template, or uh, maybe you're doing percussion work and you want to add that there. Doesn't really matter, but it's a really useful tool uh, for any DAW if you want to just add that in.
So hopefully this helps your template if you're using Touch OSC with Studio One. Good job, PreSonus, on making it nice and simple to send MIDI, uh, unlike some DAWs. But you are able to receive signals. It is possible. It's a little bit hairy. And uh, when I was working with it, it wasn't really useful. Um, it was much easier for me to just work within the DAW uh, to see the value of, let's say, the fader or the panning. But it is possible to receive those signals with MIDI in Touch OSC. There are other people using Touch OSC in the forums and on the Discord, so be sure to check that out and see some of the templates that they're making. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments and be sure to like this video. We have a lot more that we're going to cover in 2022 with Touch OSC. So thanks to the Hexler folks and the folks on the forums. We have a lot of cool things that we're going to showcase. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all those updates. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.